Congress. This is a breakthrough that could not only save the lives of firefighters, but ours too. Duet firefighter Randy Griffin has been working with Homeland Security on this critical piece of equipment. The department is the first in the country to get a look at this new air pack. And Jeff Kulikowski got a glimpse along with them. It doesn't take a firefighter long to notice the difference between slipping on the current bulky air pack and the sleeker new design. This is probably the first revolutionary move in self-contained breathing apparatus in probably 50 years. The new design has three key features. It's thinner and lighter than what firefighters are using now, plus... Because it can bend, it's flexible, and as Pat bends, that's one rigid piece of metal. The current air packs extend about eight inches off their back. It can be a deadly hazard for a firefighter trying to make their way through the maze of a burning structure where hanging materials can hook a firefighter trapping them, like this training center is made to show. The new design, much easier. And while they both carry the same amount of air, this one will last longer because it puts less stress on firefighters, meaning they don't use as much air. And that can be critical to us and them. It's, it's a longer time that I can spend helping to get you out before I have to go out and change my bottle and come back in. Here's another advantage of this new thinner design. In tight quarters like this where a firefighter might have to slip through, it's a lot easier getting through than it is trying to take this current air bottle and fit through the same tight quarters, which takes a lot longer. And in a fire, every single second counts. SCBAs are probably the, the most important piece of equipment that a firefighter can have. So anything that we can do to upgrade that technology, I think, is, is critical. This just may be that breakthrough they've been waiting for. In DeWitt, Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now, in his role at Homeland Security, Griffin is working to help get this new breathing equipment from prototype to commercial production. It still needs some approvals, but Griffin says you could start seeing this on the backs of firefighters in just a couple of years.